now you have a better understanding of frames and kinematics so um, we will try to define the kinematics of um, a more sophisticated gripper in uh, process simulator until now uh, we have worked with very simple grippers but this gripper is um, a, a, a little bit uh, complex uh, in in its operation we can see how this gripper works uh, this is This is on robot 3FG15 gripper. On robot is the company that that manufactures the gripper, and uh, you can see here how the gripper works. So it has three fingers, and the fingers basically rotate, and by rotational movement. They, um, they grasp any component, both either from the inside of the fingers or from outside of the fingers. So we will try to define the kinematics of this kind of gripper. Okay, so now you have uh, the understanding how this gripper um, works and you can find uh, the CAD file of uh, this gripper from um, on robot uh, website so if you google it there should be on robot 3fg15 Yes, here you will go to downloads section. In the download section, select the gripper. This is the range of gri grippers that the company manufactures. Uh, we select this 3FG15. Then they ask if you are using any uh, mounting with it. These are different types of mounting. So for example, if you're using three or two different tools, two different grippers, then you can use this type of mounting, this um, with the torque sensor and quick change without secrues with, with with snap fitting so for now i am using i basically don't want to use a mounting from them okay still i i select this quick change no bracket and then it asks if you are using a camera this is a camera uh, no no eyes and then it asks uh, for which robot you want to use it you can select any robot, but, but for now we select universal robot and then it gives options what you want to download. So I tell it to drawing and I need drawing for the gripper, a step file, the file is downloaded and then you know how to import this file into process simulator. So basically you will open it in annex and uh, then you create uh, first a dummy file uh, as, a, as a resource gripper. Uh, and save it then from processing or uh, sorry annex export the file into the folder that you have, uh, and, and to the file that you have created in uh, process simulate and then finally um, when you set modeling scope you will see this uh, gripper over here okay so now we have the gripper here and what we have to do is we need to define its uh, uh, or tool definition and also kinematics of the gripper. So if I select it and I go to tool definition, it says that uh, it is currently logged for modeling. So set modeling scope, tool definition, yes, type is gripper, this frame.
tool center frame i define it Then gripping entities, gripping entities are these three fingers that uh, should pick the components and then, okay. Okay, so we have defined defined the definition of the tool. Then we I go to kinematics editor, delete these ones. So we have these links. So now we have uh, the three fingers of the uh, the gripper. Then we need to define its joints. But to define the joints, I need to have uh, uh, its uh, specifications. And uh, from where can I get the specifications of the gripper is from the manufacturer. So I will go to their website and data sheet. And in the data sheet, I need data sheet for this gripper and Yes, now I have the data sheet of the gripper and here I can, I can see all its technical specifications. And I need to find how much is the gripper opens and closes in each stroke. Okay, so um, Although the fingers can move from 0 to 180, the angle range of an external grip is 30 to 165 degrees and for an internal grip is 20 to 160 degrees. Okay, so... Revolute joint and one very important thing in this gripper is we need to define the axis in which this gripper is going to move or rotate, sorry, e each finger is going to rotate. And for that, I basically need, it would be nice if you just uh, hide that component and So basically I must 0 0.99 
Okay, sorry. And it is uh, from zero to one six uh, twenty to one sixty. So I make upper limit high limit as one sixty and lower limit as minus twenty. And speed speed you can also see it from uh, the technical specification. For now, I am leaving it like this. Okay, then for this one, the center axis. Constant upper limit 160, lower limit minus 20. Okay. And then Okay, so now every finger is moving or, or, or rotating independently. We try to connect them. So basically, yes, J2 joint function. I make it dependent on J1. Then Okay, yes, so now you can see that they are um, rotating all together. And uh, then another thing is define zero position. So whichever position you want to set as the zero position of the gripper. So the default position that it has, I am setting it as the zero position and then basically it should be ready And then you can create different poses uh, for opening, closing, etc. For example, for open, I keep uh, this pose. Maybe I make this one as open. Close. Maybe for close, I make it here. So these are different poses that you can create for your, depending on the sizes of the components that you are going to pay. And uh, then grip. So yeah, so now your uh, gripper, this, uh, this gripper is ready. Uh, this is uh, a little bit more complex. Uh, as compared to uh, the grippers that you have uh, made before. Of course, it, it is not very complex gripper. There are very, very, very complex grippers available. So, uh, but, but for now, it, it has a um, somewhat more mechanism. There are three fingers that, which are rotational fingers and they should rotate all together. And now you see that how uh, these uh, parameters and kinematics are defined in the process simulator. And now if you have a robot in the scene, you can attach the gripper with the robot and can start using it. Mm -hmm.